Morning, folks. How you guys doing today? Welcome to the Farm Sim Show for March the 11th. Sweet skis. Oh. There we go. What's going on? How you guys doing today? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in first thing in the morning. It is early here, too. <laughs> in fact, we missed a little bit. Oh, no. Wrong screen. Let's bring that back up. There we go. That's the screen I wanted. A little video feedback going on. I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is Wednesday, March 11th. We've missed the first couple of days. And now we're looking at, uh, what is it, Wednesday's mods, new mods. We'll look at the new DLC that came out just earlier this week, which is fantastic. Actually, I'm really impressed with the new DLC. I don't know. I hope you guys have been liking it. I am really, really digging the new DLC. I think it's fantastic. What is going on, folks? Anyway, so there's Brianna. We got drummer Aaron. DJ Goham's in here. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Ken? Whammer, get out of here. How you doing, Whammer? Good to see you, man. So five brand new mods uh and a bunch of updates i think we got 10 technically 11 updates if you're counting there's one that's only for pc thanks to dj go for let me know about that uh five brand new mods one of which is a brand new map and it's available for everyone uh ninghan farms it's an australian based map we'll take a quick look at that bad boy as well we got the new man 33414 six by six pack that's kind of a cool little mod we're kind of a modular mod uh, almost like an it runner-esque type mod we'll look at that as well hey do well what's going on buddy uh jo the joskin module 1600 southern alberta geo that is also new and then one other new one down here where is it the kentucky geo that is new as well the rest are all updates we got the polish map updated the ponzi bears updated this right here the flegal bail trailer we'll take a look at that in a sec i'll talk about that more in a second here and then a bunch of geos have been updated with us usa simplified vermont maine alabama all updated um the flegal bail trailer this thing, we're just looking at this. I didn't have the setup to do this properly to show it in game, but it now has an auto load option. Where is it? Right in here. Uh, oh, it's not even showing it properly. Anyways, it does, it auto loads small bales now. It doesn't show the auto load small bales, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, it will auto load small and big bales. If you choose the larger of the options on this, so the larger trailer option, you can now load 170, I think it is, 170 small bales on it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> 170 bales on an auto load trailer. Well, at least it's auto load. I don't think I'd want to load 170 without auto load, to be perfectly honest, guys. Anyways, as for the new mods, let's bounce back in. Let's take a look at uh, we got the map, we got the truck, and we have the trailer, the slurry trailer. Let's take, we'll take a look at. Boom. All right, so right in front of us, let's start off. We'll take them at the map first, or last, I should say. We'll start off with the Man 33 4146 by 6 pack. It's technically two trucks with four pieces of equipment. So you've got, uh, well, it's, what's one truck, let's be honest. The only difference is you've got a three-point hitch and you can go and remove the three-point hitch. There you go. I like the three-point hitch go, or on the front of a truck. You know, I wish we had some more North American trucks that had the three-point hitch or, with the uh, PTO on it. That'd be sweet. So we'll take a look at the store quickly. Where is she? There she is, down at the end. Like I said, you do have some design options. Um, it changes the color, of course, if you change the design color right in the middle here as well. Wheels, Lizard, Nokian, Trelleborg, kind of your standard stuff there. Uh, for your Trelleborg, you have wides, I believe. Yeah, just wides. The wides look pretty, uh, pretty beefy, guys. Look at that. Full bar on the front. A couple options there. You can go with kind of the matte black look, or you can go with the chromed out version, matte black or chrome. And then, of course, your three-point hitch or not. Do like the three-point hitch option that is sweet so that there is the man uh the 331414 uh six by six not bad not bad of course it's just a truck and if we take this off do i have it selected oh gotta remove that too can i remove just that no i can't i can't remove it as it is so you can see it's just a truck basically bed there's nothing on the back of it and when you buy it stock you have to decide what you want to put on this so for instance on this one here we have just a dump box and on this one over here we have a flat bed for bales and it also comes with a top bale now this, this has straps all the way down of course we'll take a look at all the different options since we're looking at it let's go over and take a look at these so on our dether trailers you're gonna find there's the dump box the skip box so you have just some basic options on that not a ton of options just a couple and then under bales you're gonna find the rest uh where's our bailing technology there she is yeah, I'm losing my mind. It's not there. It is perfect. So you have the, the this one here is the one for the truck, and then of course you have the trailer option as well, which does not have the over the cab over protection, uh, which you can see between these two. There is the cab or the non cab over the trailer version, and then the non or the cab over version as well. So it protects the cab. You have those two different options, and then last of all, of course, we have the logging trailer as well, or the logging trailer add-on, I should say. Um, it all depends what you want to use it for. So they all just kind of pop off depending on how you want to use them. 
four different options kind of cool i like uh, i like the it runner pack and this kind of just adds on to it with a more specific truck unfortunately they don't work with the it runner pack or anything like that but it is another option you can have out there sweet all right cool guys so that's it for the man uh the man pack the six by six pack like i said I, I'm, I'm happy i love trucks that have this this pto hitch i just wish more had that that's kind of cool it gives you some more options not really a north american thing of course anyways let's move on down the line we got the joskin module sixteen thousand basic there we go right about there there she is now it is essentially let's go to this story kid <laughs> it's essentially the module two it's a, it's really the same thing as this minus the slurry injector so that is the base game uh if we go down to the very end you're going to find the module low 16 000. like i said it is the same thing without the slurry tank for the most part you can change your wheel setups to wides or standards that's it 51 grand for the the uh, wides down to 50 uh, 50 500 for the standards but really it is pretty much it's the same horsepower 180 horsepower requirement uh 150 that's interesting so the slurry injector requires less horsepower than the actual trailer without in hmm, who knows i don't know what the reason would be but anyways pretty much the exact same thing so that's it for that folks and lastly one other thing that was released for pc mac only guys was the Kloss uh the uh, axiom 960 here with the track version of this guy now this was out back last summer but now it's back in the mod hub i just want to make sure you guys were aware of it if you don't have it by chance i know it was a bit of an interesting download when it first came out you needed to have a special uh card that was released at a conference so that's how this one came out originally and it wasn't really available in the mod hub until recently so today it came out in the mod hub it was it's available for pc and uh and mac that way not for console there yet though which is kind of interesting so anyways i just thought i'd make you guys aware of that all right let's talk the map so negan farm farms negan farms well, let's take a quick look up. We'll uh, let's go. We'll go for a little scanny scan. You know what? Let's go right to the the base. So let me see if I can get the actual number of fields on this. It's thirty something. If I can get the number right here, where is our number? Thirty six fields. There we go. Thirty six fields. Uh, four cell points. Some custom environments. It's. Uh, I mean, of course. Let's see if I can zoom right on out. You can take a look. Some larger size fields. It's available for all. So it's not like a four X map or anything along those lines. But you can see our base farm is right here. We're at the cell point, which is way down this corner. There's no town site, unfortunately, or anything like that. But uh, there's some interesting details to this. So I'm going to warp over to the main farm. I'm going to start our, our spot there. So this is the main farm we're going to start with. This is what it's built as to start with. And we'll start. Let's go back on up. Boom. There you go. You can kind of see we've got our main farm. You know what? Let's do this the easy way. Let's do this the easy way, shall we? Yeah, that looks better. That looks much better. Okay. This is our main farm right in here. You got a main farm house. I love the, again, I love the way the, the fields look, to be honest with you, the fields look fantastic. So this is your base farm to starting with. You got a couple outbuildings. You got some large open areas you can decide to do with what you will want, I suppose. Um, some of the, the base fields around the farm are a different shape, but some of the interesting stuff, let's start over on this side here. Like just some of the, the water features for irrigation on this map are really quite interesting. So you do have like an irrigation canal that goes around that would make it somewhat difficult to kind of cross over uh, through the different fields. And there's another one over here. These ones here, each one of these fields, a lot of the fields have these various little irrigation kind of water storage areas. You have this one over here. You've got one on the far side here as well. There's quite a few of these around the map. So there's another one on this side over here. But a lot of the fields are broken up by these various irrigation canals that break up the, the map a little bit and make the fields just a little bit different. So they're not square fields. If you're a big square field fan, you're not going to find too many of those here. I mean, even this one here, which is fairly square, it's still broken up in the corner by this ir little irrigation uh, area, which is kind of interesting. Water storage irrigation. Look on this side, you got some smaller fields, but none of them are really perfectly square. And I, I enjoy that. I think it's great. It looks fantastic to me. There you go. See, even this here, we got a road. We've got a little irrigation canal that goes along with this road. I think it looks pretty cool. Not bad. So anyways, 36 fields. You do have, let's see if we can zoom over to some of our cell points here. Let's go down to the bottom. This is the BGA area, I believe. Now, so this is one of the cell points down below. A lot of detail into this, into the cell points themselves. Um, it's They seem pretty accurate. There's the, the purchase area where we started, where all our vehicles were. They all look pretty good. Go on up to the animal cell point up here. So this is our animal cell. Once again, a lot of detail in this area as well. And this looks interesting. This whole, the market area where you've got the various pens. I like that. That looks cool. 
don't think I've seen a map that does a pen quite like this. But anyways, too bad it wasn't stocked full of animals. But that looks good. So this is your animal cell area. And then we should have, I think we have one more area. Where is it? Oh, the forestry area. That's right. The forestry area is down in the bottom here. Is it that? And we'll warp on up. Take a quick look at our forestry area. So you can see there's a bunch of uh, lined areas for forestry. They do set up a spot where you can do your personalized forestry stuff. Let's see if I can bring that up on the map. I remember where it was is the question. Uh, in behind me, right over here. There we go. So there's one small pad over here where you can set up and kind of set up your own little forestry area. Um, but there's a, quite a bit of forestry stuff that you can do if that's what your thing is as well. And then you can kind of see the cell point just over there. Anyways, so that there is the map for the most part, guys. Um, odd shaped fields, 36 of them. Standard size map available for everybody console. Uh, both consoles and PC and Mac have access to this map. And uh, I think it's good. I like the, the look of the fields and everything looks like it's fairly well polished. Very cool. All right. So that's all the new mods we've got to talk about today. But we do have some mods and testing to go over as well. Let's take a look. Mods and testing. Boom. That's not the right screen. That's not the right screen at all, Clutch. Let's get that off there. There we go. That's better. Perfect. All right. So new mods. We got 25 new mods and testing. Technically, yes, 25. Uh, six of which are for console. The other 19 are for PC currently. But just remember the ones that are currently being tested for PC can eventually move down into console if depending on what uh, what the mod makers wishes are. All right. So if you want them to come to console, they'll be tested for PC first and then they'll move down. Typically can happen. Sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, just be aware of that. So uh, up right at the start here, we got the animal food pack. We also have a bale chipper in testing. You guys already saw, which you were cheating there. <laughs> uh, we've got the Dijon Heart Ballast Tank, which you have right there, is in back in testing. We got the Dumas SB 600 kilogram weight. We got fertilizer liquid, uh, liquid fertilizer pack that's uh, being tested as well. We also have Grower's Farm that's back in testing. See what the, I'm not sure what the update for this one is. DJ, you may know. You may have more of an update than I do. I'm not sure on this one. So Grower's Farm. There's an update going for that one as well. We got the herbicide production package being tested as well. The Kuhn PRAR 3570. There we go. That's a bale chipper. That's being tested as well for the mod hub. We got the large warehouse still in testing. The large pallet warehouse still in testing as well. Um, the personalized farm sign pack. I'd like to see what this is. There could be some interesting farm or farm signs we could build. Hopefully it's not just the one that's already out. The signage pack. Like we just have like one little sign that you can type your name. I don't know, I'm hoping for something different, but I don't know if, which one it is. I didn't double check on that one. Uh, the Placeable Farm Shop, and then we have a bunch of Seasons Geos, the Balkan, Devon, Lithuania, South Mor Moravia, and USA Simplified, which was released today. Also, where is it? Do I have it up here? There we go. Uh, we've got Switchback Canyon. That's in testing as well. The Ursus, oops, get rid of that. The Ursus 4x2 pack, a two-wheel drive tractor pack. That'll be nice. I like the I always like the Ursus stuff. I never use them, but I do like them. Uh, we got a 4x2 pack. I think most of the stuff we have is 4x4 right now, off the top of my head. We also have that wheat dryer still in testing. And then moving down into console land, the Ecotill 2500 is in testing. We got that Fiat uh, 6566 in testing. What else do we got down here? Oh, the Karcher, the, that's right. The pressure washer in testing for console. I believe that there was an issue with that one. So that'd be an update for console. It wasn't movable properly from what I've heard for console. We'll see what happens there. Uh, the Southern Geo for Alberta has been updated. And what else? We got the Semi Dolly 6000. And lastly, the Swifter Disc XO 6000F is the last mod in testing. Uh, this is a Bednar product. I think this is out for PC already on some of the mod sites. I don't know if it's in the mod hub. I don't think it's in the mod hub. This is on some of the mod sites from what I remember. Anyways, as for uh, current mods waiting to be tested, we're up to 93 mods waiting. It's back underneath that, under, uh, that 100 mark. Uh, it's underneath that 100 mark. I thought for sure we'd be above that, but she's still underneath. Average work days, uh, seven work days is our waiting period right now for new mods waiting to be tested. Sweet. That's it, guys. David Williams, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Um, anyways, that's it, guys. That's all we've got for new mods. That's mods to be testing. The new map looks fantastic. I really do enjoy it. I think it looks nice. Uh, Australian size, Australian based map. I think it looks fantastic. The uh, the eco the eco low till did I spell, did I say it right? <laughs> oh man. Anyways, folks, that's uh, that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for the super chats, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Dave Williams, Lammer Jammer, you guys are nuts. Have <laughs> a fantastic day. We'll be back tomorrow with the Farm Sim Show first thing in the morning. Once again, uh, current streaming schedule is probably later on the week, Friday, Saturday ish. Right now, we'll see how things are going on. 
But other than that, I will catch you folks later. You guys can catch a replay if you did. If you catch a replay or if you're watching right now, make sure you guys hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you then. Have a good day, folks.